All right, today we're going to talk about pH and we're going to go through the difference between acids and bases. Before we start talking about pH, let's quickly review water. So remember, water molecules have three atoms. Their formula is H2O, which means that they have one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. And remember also that many different things can dissolve in water. Um, it is a universal solvent. It's also important to remember that water molecules are polar. That means that the oxygen carries a slightly negative charge and those hydrogens carry a slightly positive charge when a water molecule is existing and interacting with other molecules. Water is kind of interesting in that when it is in a liquid form, it can dissociate. And that means that water molecules can break apart and become positively and negatively charged ions. So a normal water molecule has two hydrogen atoms. And sometimes when water dissociates, one of those hydrogen atoms goes to a neighboring water molecule and that forms a positively charged ion called hydronium. And then the remaining um, water molecule becomes hydroxide, which has a negative charge. So when water breaks apart and it forms that positively charged hydronium ion and that negatively charged hydroxide ion, that's important because even though now you have two ions, a positive and a negatively charged ion, they are there in equal numbers. And so that means that when water has its pH tested, it ends up having a neutral pH because the number of positive ions equals the number of negative ions. So that brings us to pH. Uh, pH is measured on a scale from 0 to 14. So if you put 0 at one end, you can put 7 in the middle, and 14 on the other end, that's a pH scale. And so remember, we just talked about water, and it forms those positively charged ions and those negatively charged ions, and they're equivalent when you have just plain water. And so that gives them a pH of 7, which is neutral. So if you were to plot water on the pH scale, it would be a pH of 7. Now, if something has more positively charged ions, whether it's hydrogen ions or hydronium ions, than it does OH ions, then it's acidic. So anything below 7 is an acid. And when things are basic, it means you have more negatively charged ions than positively charged ions. So anything above 7 is a base. So pH measures how acidic or basic something is. So remember acids are substances that form hydrogen ions which are positively charged when it's in water and bases are substances that form hydroxide ions which are negatively charged when they are in water. And so we'll review the pH scale one more time on the next slide and then talk about some common um, substances and their pHs. So one more time, here's the pH scale. So anything that is below 7 is considered an acid because it has more um, positively charged ions than it does negatively charged ions. They're out of balance. If something is neutral, the pH is 7, and that's um, when you have the same number of positive and negatively charged ions. And then if you have something basic, that's going to be any pH over 7, and it's because you have more negatively charged ions in the solution than positively charged ions. So when we look at this practically, uh, on the next slide we'll go over some different substances so you can kind of get a feel for what types of things are acidic and what types of things are basic. So here again you can see our pH scale. Remember things below 7 are acids, things above 7 are bases, Sometimes bases are also called alkaline. So if you see that word alkaline, it just means basic. Um, remember, water is neutral, so 7 is neutral. And then things that we might see that are slightly acidic would be like milk or coffee. So they're a, we call those weak acids. Um, things that are a little bit stronger acids might be like vinegar, which you use to make pickles, or sometimes people use it to clean. Um, if you've ever tasted a lemon, that very tart, sour flavor, means that it's quite acidic. Your stomach has stomach acid. That's very acidic. That is a pH all the way down there at one. 
And then one of the most acidic substances that we know of is called hydrochloric acid. So that's just a little more acidic than your stomach. So acids tend to be things kind of that have that tart um, flavor to them or sour flavor. Now when we look at bases, um, blood is slightly basic. It's got a pH around 8. Uh, baking soda that you use for cleaning or for baking is a little bit slightly basic. Um, ammonia that you might use to clean your house is basic. Soap, so what you use to wash your hands or wash your dishes, is basic. And bleach and drain cleaner are what we call strong bases because they have a pH of 13 to 14.